Hi there, this is Shu Rayner at the Shu Rayner Drawing School and today I'm going to show you how to make this which is a kind of a, a golden section ruler meter thingy divider and, and it's going to open up the wonders and the mysteries of the universe to you right now but let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. Well, this is the second time I'm filming this because the first time my memory card was full, but never mind. Let's see what we can do. Uh, wait, what are we going to do? We're going to make you a, a pentangle, first of all. And um, that's the kind of magical, kind of, you know, sort of five pointed star. And within the five pointed star are all sorts of amazing, kind of um, mathematical things come together particularly the golden section. Now I'm making this um, 60, uh, this is eight centimeters in radius. So it'll be eight centimeters times two is 16. And I'm choosing that because it fits on the camera. Okay, last time it was all over the place, it was much too big. This is the center point here. Okay, I've got that there. I'm going to just choose an arbitrary point up there and draw in between the two, like that. Now what I want to do is to have a line going across the middle, directly straight across. How do we do that to get it absolutely square? Well, we draw a curve up there and we're sticking the pin on the line where the diameter meets across. We do that and then we can draw right the way through where that where that crosses and through into the center of the circle okay if, if, if you want to be a designer and the art it's good to know these things these are how things are constructed so it's good to play with these toys and and, and, and kind of learn your geometry i think or just just have a play with it and understand right so this was eight so if we halve that which takes that to four and we draw an angle from there to the top there where that crosses over. Now what we need to do is to put a line right the way through so that each side is exactly the same, each angle is the same. This is called bifurcating the angle. <laughs> right. Put your pin in the point of the angle and draw it like that. Now where that line crosses there, draw a little arc. And where that line crosses there, draw another little arc. And where those two points meet and cross if you join them up just check that's yeah that's like that that will give you a bifurcated angle so it that angle is the same angle as that angle okay um i'm not a mathematician so i don't know i don't know what the words are that i should be using there but anyway if we now get this quite accurate yeah get there if we now Draw, just draw a little arc like that. And then from where that point there, <laughs> those two things meet. From there to there, that now should be one fifth of the circle. Okay, so if we measure, you're gonna have to watch this film about 10 times to get this right, okay. If we now measure about, that feels about right, and and then we go around the circle and where it crosses i stick the pin in next time and again now this should join up uh, pretty close pretty close <laughs> i'm not uh, you know this isn't 100 percent accurate so i'm just going to make those just slightly wider each time slightly built and then that should meet and if we go around the corners like that, we will get, if we cut, do those bits there, we get a pentagram. Okay, now I hope you can see one, two, three, four, five, a five sided diagram. But what we also get, see, this is where all the magic starts coming in. This, <laughs> this is. Uh, Can you feel it? Can you feel the magic happening? Can you see? 
the five-sided star. Perfect five-sided star is a pentangle. It has one, two, three, four, five angles. Pent equal e means five. Now, what are we going to do with this? We are going to do something really exciting. <laughs> now we're getting into the making mode, okay? Uh, if I can just get things sorted. Where am I now? Yes. I've got my Swan Morton scalpel here. I have had this since I was about 16, okay? Um, this is my favourite tool of all. And I used to do biology when I was 16, and we used to cut out rats and mice and dogfish and all sorts of things. And this is the, <laughs> this is the one I used it on. And, uh, but uh, I haven't done anything like that for a very long time. But they were dead, all right, okay? We, they weren't alive and we did dissections and stuff and um i don't know if they do that in school anymore do they it's probably health and safety banned it i should think and um yeah it's, it is really really sharp i cannot tell you enough times always keep your fingers well away when you're cutting through thick card it's better to do lots of thin cuts thin light cuts rather than do a heavy one as soon as you start putting pressure on a blade ugh, it moves and you'll get a nasty cut across your finger like I had once, which makes me go all just even thinking about it. So always, always, always be careful with your fingers when you're cutting things. All right, that's my sermon for the day. Let's get this back. Right, what I want to do, I hope you can see, can you see the stick kind of underneath? And um, I'm going to get that kind of underneath there and in the middle. And I'm going to punch a hole in there and punch a hole in there and punch a hole through there and I'm going to do that with another one as well and so just get it a bit beyond there like that okay good and punch a hole there punch a hole there and punch a hole there and I'm just going to put little marks on there so I know where to cut Okay, and then we need another one. We need this at a different place. If you can see the the kind of the star there, we need that. It's not quite. Let me get that. Punch a hole there, and punch a hole there, and that's going to be. We can cut that off there. But I'll just tear that off just so I get a rough idea where it is. And we do the same with this one. So this is from kind of the corner. From an inside corner to an inside corner of the start. Can you <laughs> I keep hitting my camera lights and put that there like that? That's just not quite in the centre, which will cause problems later, but never mind, never mind. Now, what do we do? What do we do? We look for I, my tool that I've lost and I should have prepared for me. Yeah, I found it, I found it. This is a, a hole punch. Uh, you, you can move it around and get different sized holes. Uh, and it just sometimes you, if you press not all the way down and then just give it a twizzle then that kind of helps. Oh, it hasn't gone all the way through there we go and um, and so over the top of these pinpoints that I've made through then I'm going to cut holes punch holes and the same on here and how are we doing? Eight minutes, 26 seconds. <laughs> so you've probably got an intro sequence as well, so it's probably a bit longer. I'll try and uh, speed up a bit. It's, so I can't really, can I? You can only go as fast as you can go. And uh, like that, ow, ow, my wrist. <laughs> I'm falling to bits. <laughs> Now, uh, what do I need to do on these longer bits here? Again, look, keep your fingers as far away behind. Always make sure that your fingers are behind the direction of the cutting blade. Okay, I cannot emphasize this enough. Always behind the blade. So there's one. And keep your fingers behind the direction of the cutting blade. Every time you cut something like this, ask yourself before you cut, are my fingers behind the blade? Yes. And then you can cut. And then I'm, see, I'm in a hurry. And this is when you do have accidents, when you're kind of rushing because you've got cameras and pressure and stuff like that. I'm just going to cut across there quickly, like that. 
and then I, can, I think I can take that away. Now what I want to do is I've got these little tags. I don't know what they're really called actually. Um, get the long, get these longer ones like that. And I don't know what their proper name is, and then punch the you know, fold those around the back. You, you, you know what these things are. You probably haven't used it since. Uh, you know, you were eight years old or something like that, but never mind. <laughs> so uh, that will come in the back there like that. And I'll put that underneath. It all kind of comes together. You probably, I mean, you might have seen the thing I did um, about a drawing with a, a pentagram uh, a little while ago. I'll, I'll, put a, I'll put a video up, I'll put a link up here. Go and have a look. It's the same kind of idea. And then across the bottom, join those two points like that and basically the middle of there is where uh, I want it to be a pointer again nearly there nearly there lost my pen night there we are got it right fingers behind fingers behind and fingers behind good like that we now have a golden section meter <laughs> look what we have here when you measure across there, look, that goes to there, that goes to there, and that points, I mean, it's this is not the most accurate thing, but look, that points there. And what you have here is, if that is one unit, then that part from there to there is one and 1.6, whatever it is, 6.8 or something, I can't remember what it is now. This is the golden section. And it is incredibly important and it's amazing how how it kind of fits it's kind of like woo -woo 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 -woo, it's the universe coming together and this thing i just tried this earlier look um if we take that there can you see this is a oh hang on uh, in the camera there we are this is just a, a jam jar which is leaking all over the place and um uh, and then it's kind of where's the widest part can you see can you see there look, there that's the widest part to there. And designers for centuries have been using this golden section, the, 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 this 1 to 1.6, and um, it's amazing. And it's like the whole universe coming together in this amazing thing, which is why you can understand why you find this shape in, in all sorts of mystical places. And, uh, and the more you delve into it, all these numbers start coming together and you go, oh my goodness, it's incredible. So um, have a go at making one of these and, and, and start me measuring your world around you. You will be <laughs> amazed. Um, so, uh, and, 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 and also I think it, you know, if, if you want to draw stuff, I think it's really good to make things uh, it, because it kind of tunes your brain into how things are actually made so you know how to draw them. Um, so if you've enjoyed that, keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Droy School on YouTube and I'll put some links up here to some other golden section videos that I'm doing at the same time, which will kind of take this further and explain what it's all about because it's really, really, really important for uh, uh, artists and designers. You don't have to use it every day, but it's just knowing about it. You will learn to do it instinctively after a while, but it's really interesting to know uh, how it works. So. Keep coming back to the Shirena Drawing School on YouTube. And in the meantime, keep practicing, keep making stuff, keep, uh, keep doing magic numbers. And uh, I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.